Good morning everyone, Trucker John here. So today is it. Today is the first day of orientation here at Prime Inc. I'm gonna go down, grab some of their free continental breakfast at the hotel. I'm gonna grab the shuttle, which will be here about 6.30, 6.45 in the morning. And uh, we're gonna head off to their training center. So stick around and I'll keep you updated. Before getting on the shuttle, we had this continental breakfast, which uh, only you only had these muffins. So yeah, I grabbed a, a banana. So yeah, I grabbed a banana muffin, and I had some coffee before I had to wait for the shuttle. Okay, so I just finished day one of orientation here at Prime Inc. The uh, saying, hurry up and wait, definitely uh, is the best thing I could think of right now. It wasn't a bad experience, but we just sat around mostly. Uh, we, when we first arrived, we um, filled out an application. It was about a four page application, basically the same thing that I filled out when I applied online. So it was, my personal information, um, my residence history, my employment history, driver's license history, just write, writing it all down. Um, after that, we um, submitted our orders for lunch. And then we went to um, another classroom, and it was a computer classroom where we started doing our computer based training. And that was basically an introduction to the company and uh, different services they provide to us. There's a driver, um, health, driver fitness and health program they have and they basically have different recipes uh, that's provided to truck drivers to help them stay healthy. It's things that you can actually cook and make inside of the truck. So that, that was pretty cool. You know, I didn't even think about that going into this. I mean, I knew I was gonna eventually have to make my own food on the truck, but they had like, you know, crock pot and Instapot recipes and hot plate recipes so you know i'm definitely going to take a look at that and probably incorporate that here into my channel somehow you know how to what, what to cook on the road so i think that'll be a, a fun little uh, side thing to do here on this channel and after that it was basically you know about 20 or so videos about half of those videos had a quiz pretty much common sense really no brainers the most difficult one out of all of them and it still wasn't that hard uh, was the hazmat um, and it's just because I didn't study any hazmat and I didn't get that as my endorsement, but they still require some knowledge on hazmat. But like I said, it was pretty simple. A lot of it was common sense. Um, I mean, I aced all their quizzes. It was, it was pretty simple. Uh, during the computer-based training, you do um, fill out your contract to work for Prime. Um, it's a, a year contract, and I believe the price was $4,300 if you terminated early that's what you have to pay there's no um, payment plan or anything it's just you got to pretty much pay them forty three hundred dollars even though you have a few months left you know they don't do no prorate or anything like that you just owe them that money so you know, not that I plan to leave early but you know emergency pops up or something just you know be aware that you're gonna have to pay that money and, uh, then we had our lunch around noon you know I had a Chipotle chicken sandwich from um, I believe it's called apple spice and uh, yeah it was it was a pretty good sandwich it wasn't too bad it came with some fruit fruit wasn't too sweet but uh, yeah it was great you know definitely filling huge sandwich so while we completed our computer-based training um, I did find out that PSD stands for primes safety driver um, I'm not sure if I've, if I've heard that from anyone else here on YouTube yet. Prime's Safety Driver, that's what it stands for. Um, I'm not sure what TNT stands for yet, but I'm going to find out when I hit that level. So again, while we were all doing our computer-based training, um, they called students in one at a time uh, to go over you know, their documentation and set them up with different types of accounts so that they, they didn't get to me um, so hopefully they'll get to me by tomorrow so I'll let you know how that goes so that was basically it uh, I don't know if 
my class was as full as normal because they were you know coming out of a holiday um, week so I don't know if this was a full class compared to other classes they have we had 14 students in my class total um, they did do random drug tests on a few of us also you know they pulled a few of us for for a p-test uh, I was not one of them but maybe tomorrow maybe Friday who knows I mean it's random it can happen anytime really um, you do sign a thing saying that you will not drink alcohol uh, the entire time you're in training um, so they're probably gonna test for that as well so no alcohol I know it's probably tempting because you know you're here in the hotel but it's got a bar right down there in the lobby but uh, just don't do it it's not worth it not even a beer because they will test and uh, the way they do testing nowadays even though it, you drink it today and you don't get tested until tomorrow or maybe even the next day it stays in your system they're gonna find out so just don't do it it's not worth it out of the 14 students we had we you know we were all a bunch of guys we did have one girl uh, and we did have one hearing impaired student, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, they actually brought in a, a sign language interpreter. So while she was going through all of her computer-based training, or whenever the instructor would be lecturing or information was being given to everyone, she had her sign language uh, interpreter right in front of her, and they were communicating back and forth. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it's nice that Prime, you know, was able to provide that to the student so they can, you know, do what they want to do, which is become a truck driver. They did mention that there's a chance not all of us will get trainers by the end of our orientation, and some of us may have to stay here in Salt Lake City and just train on the pad. And if we don't get trainers at all, we're just going to be training on the pad until we actually test out which is good and bad. I was kind of looking forward to just getting on the truck and going after orientation. But at the same time, with my commercial driving experience, not to say you know driving a bus is the same as a truck, but I think I do have some advantage driving a large vehicle, knowing the air brake system. Um, backing is definitely obviously different. But anyway, um, maybe staying the a week or two here and just testing out might make things quicker. I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens, and I'll definitely uh, incorporate that here into my channel to let you know what happens. So yeah, overall, I would say uh, orientation day one, piece of cake, very simple. I finished all of my computer-based training. There's a few other people that had, I don't know, maybe four or five videos left to watch. They're pretty lengthy, and there's a lot, but um, yeah, just wait, hurry up and wait. I probably spent more time waiting and trying not to fall asleep than anything else. Um, some of the videos were kind of hard to watch. You could tell they're, they're a little dated. Uh, so Some of the narration sounded like somebody was uh, talking on a speakerphone from somewhere else. So kind of kind of hard to follow sometimes. So yeah, we're, we'll see what happens on uh, orientation day number two tomorrow. I'll definitely post that video. And uh, all three of these days of orientation, I'll be posting them uh, back to back. So uh, look out for the day two tomorrow. Now let's uh, figure out what we're going to do for dinner. Before we go to dinner, I do want to show you this. They did give us, uh, give us this water bottle. It's a prime. Let me see that prime water bottle. So that was a nice little surprise they gave us today. I'm not sure if they do that for all the classes or if they do something else. And I also got a prime ink pen. Yeah, can't be free, right? All right, and so for our dinner option tonight, we have this Emilia's Grill and Bar voucher. Uh, it's good for $12. So yeah, let's go down and take a look at their menu and see what we can grab. So with the prime voucher you just ask for the manager special and this is the menu it comes with a pretty decent amount of uh, options I went ahead and tried the uh, the cheeseburger with fries uh, they recommended it they said it was pretty good this is what it looks like <clears throat> it wasn't bad at all I mean it definitely hit the spot and again you can't complain for free right so definitely good and uh, I'm going to try maybe the salad tomorrow so that's going to do it for today, orientation day one. 
And uh, hey, thanks for tagging along with me. Tomorrow's day two. You know where to find me. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.